hey y'all how are we doing so um yeah so today was the day i chose to pretty much have the talk with nyla um i noticed that she has been experiencing some body changes with her body um odor starting um to develop, develop a few months back so we start we gave her a deodorant um, and we tried to use like um, natural deodorants that wasn't too uh, strong on the skin because the, they, they have a uh, very sensitive skin. And then um, just like maybe, I want to say maybe two months now, I noticed that her breasts were starting to come in. And when I mean like breasts, you know, like little titties, that's what we call them, titties, right? <laughs> so they're start her and right at the area she told me the nipple area is um super sensitive for her and initially it was just the one side and I just kind of blew it off and just procrastinated on giving her the talk because she was still eight and then i said to myself after she turned nine i was going to tell her i had the conversation with oliver that i wanted to tell her and that first initial conversation was not great with him he was not having it uh, so I felt like maybe give him some time to adjust and see how he would feel about it. And it's now March and this is how he still feels. What? What do you mean? What I tell him? What do you mean? I'm not arguing. I'm just trying to explain. I don't understand your reasoning. Veneno. Veneno. What veneno are you? Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna take her to Target, and we're gonna get a little special bag for her, and she's gonna have it in her backpack from school from now on. Why? Because she's nine and she's going through steps of puberty. Her, we're gonna get oh, train yeah. bras. She I'm gonna teach her how to put it on. My sister started at nine. Okay, Nadia, but you see anything? Because it stopped. So you're gonna wait till it start and she not. But it's not there? even there yet. She just turned nine. You can start as early yeah, as eight. Yeah, little, little point. Yes, but you said she can. But is she? No. So you you're gonna bring wait. Part of school on okay. Brazil, you know. Wait, Nadia, you gotta push it. You talk too hard, then you gotta bite it now. Take it off the edge, talk. Glad I'm the woman and you're the man who I totally right. don't understand. What you wanna put this back? Cause me know. Well, do it hard. Cause my opinion is that you have, I, I, I saw him force right himself. Cause now you gotta make sure you start teaching she, she, she growing now. And she already Because I, I have the talk with her? The talk, should I come when it's close? When is what called? You don't know when it comes. Okay. You have no idea well, when it's going to happen. Away. You get supplies so like it's there. Next thing you know, she's The gonna, supplies are so when it does happen. She's Yo. She's not going to be embarrassed. There's not anything to be embarrassed about. Why would and she's she getting a little baggie now? to bring it to school with her. Why? What do you mean, why? It's not there yet. Let me ask you a question. Do you know what the most embarrassing part is? Is if she goes to school, the period comes, oh, and she has God, no God, idea God, what God, it is. God, I don't think. I think you're. Yeah, I think you're. She, I think it's weird to her. Little girl just turned nine. Like, and you can start as early month. as eight. Well, she's not. So that. okay, I'm sorry. So her breast coming in now is too early. I'm no, not the one yeah, that's I'm telling her body to do and her having well, body no. odor. Is is that me well, telling just her about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's like, been a, it's been a few just months. Gave her like seven seven months in the, in Daddy. the summertime I gave it to her. Daddy. That's all I'm saying. That's you want to your Daddy, we can get all the colors for the strings. Hey, come on, we're gonna go, Nala. So, not taking his advice because I was just not gonna wait. I'm not gonna 
let her go to school and not be prepared or just be somewhere and not be in a know because for every child it happens at a different age for every young girl it happens at a different age i know i have a few sisters that it started at nine and ten uh, me personally i didn't start until i was 16 and that was even just because i played a lot of sports and when it was even when i was 16 it was more like when i got to that age being the youngest child for eight at that point I had already known, not because my mother sat me down or anyone sat me down, just by seeing my sister and being nosy. Um, What's that? What you wearing? Because I we grew up with our father. And when he would have any girl things to talk about, he would just refer to my aunt. My mother lived in a different country. He would refer to my aunt. And my aunt, my sister started hers when she was nine. I swear, like maybe like a few uh, months after she turned nine. And she freaked out. She's very grossed out by little things and creepy crawly things and anything in general. So she was really freaking out. My aunt put her in the room, closed the door, locked me out the room. And my sister is only a year older than me. And she felt the need not to tell me what was going on. And I was there being nosy. I had my ears against the door. I'm like, I want to know what's going on. What you guys talking about? And that's pretty much how I was taught um what menstrual is what your period is and then everything else i just kind of learned from friends as i went as i grew up and for me i saw my sister she experienced really bad cramping and i just wanted to prepare my daughter for that because i felt like you never know when it's gonna happen you know all of us process is like oh just wait just wait and I can understand he's still a daddy. He's still like, that's my little girl. And when that happens, I mean, she's becoming a woman. And But other things are starting to change in her body. And that's just pretty much how it goes, you know. So i rather her be prepared. I'd rather me be the one to tell her. I want her to feel comfortable about it. Never feel embarrassed. So these are some of the things that I did. And I'm going to show you guys how we... Um, went through our day today as I told her about it and Naomi was a trip I'm gonna tell you she was she was she was just a little mess <laughs> the whole time um, and I didn't try to exclude her but I know how she is she wants mommy's attention all the time and she has little patience so I tried to pull Nyla to the side but when she wanted to come in I let her in and you're going to see her reaction throughout that whole spill of me just trying to educate Nala and our little shopping and things that we did. And I give you guys links to videos that I used as visual aids for her and um, what we did, her little special kit that we made and things like that. All right. So this is just me and her having our little talk, our moment together. Um, she was uh, relaxed and comfortable, you know, I tried not to be too serious. I explained to her not to be embarrassed about it and just went through the process with her. And as you can see, Naomi comes in, uh, I don't exclude her. And she was not really interested in the conversation. She was just more like, why are you talking to Ny Nyla by yourself? And I can't be a part of it. And then I explained that to her. And then you can see that she's all in the mix. Once we were finished our conversation, I told her I'm going to show her a few videos. And then we moved on to the videos. I was a little bit scared and asked my mommy what was going on. What you say? It looks boring. It's not for you. I want to see too, though. You want to see too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Lee said it was boring. Maybe you should go and come back. No. Okay. No, 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 no. So as you guys can see, Naomi wanted to be a part of the process. I put them both on my lap and we sat and watched two short videos, which is about four minutes each. All right. So once we were done, I took her, um, both of them to Target. And then from there, we just pretty much uh, picked out whatever she wanted. We First, we went to the sanitary section over there by personal hygiene. And we went through the pads. And can I tell you, just going through the process, I forgot how many types of pads there were and 
different selections. I didn't even bother to get into the idea of tampons because I, I personally don't wear tampons, but I don't want that for her. Once that comes up, we'll talk about it later. But I just tried to keep everything simple. I pretty much went with brands that I'm familiar with that I know works for me and what I've used over the years. So Always is my brand. So we picked out a pad and always makes the small teen pads. So um, I got the teen ones. Then we made sure we had um, some feminine wipes and other items. I'll show you guys um, the full kit in a second. These are training bras. Those are not. Mm -mm. Not I those. Know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're not ready for that one. I know. So we're just going to get the ones that are like this. Okay? Comfortable. Like 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 Alright, so choose one. Let's see. You get five. One for each day. Alright, we Let's see, you can get this one too. It doesn't have any pad in there. Mama saw a music one. This one has a little pad. Mama saw this one. Okay, get Mama. the small. Hey, Mama make sure make sure you're getting the right size, okay? Small. Okay, guys, so what we end up getting was um, a few different things. I'm going to put the list in the description. And I pretty much went through everything with her. I explained to her um, what everything is for. Once we were done uh, making our kit, I used the extra stuff to demonstrate to her how to put on the pad, how to take it off, what to do with it, um, how to use the wipes, how to uh, make sure she doesn't make a mess on her hands. I also went over the panty liners with her, the difference between the panty liners and the pads, when she should use those. Um, and I explained to her, like, even just vaginal discharge. I tried not to overwhelm her with information, so I just kept it simple. So just showing her the panting liners and the pads, the wipes, um, why she has extra panties and um, pants in her kit, and why I just threw in the deodorant in there for just uh, extra personal hygiene if you're on the go and just having that with her. Now you got your little special purse? Mm -hmm. All right. You feel comfortable? I'm fine right now. Okay. Remember, never be afraid to ask me any questions, okay? Things like that. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, you can post your comments below. Or even if you just want to share your story on when did you start seeing your period and who told you. I'm the youngest out of eight. Didn't grow up with my mother. And again, it was more like ears at the door listening and then figured it out as I went. And I just, <laughs> that was just crazy. So, um, yeah, uh, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Follow us on Instagram. All the good stuff happens on our Instagram. I keep telling you guys. So, and we appreciate you guys. Have a good one.